like this Minter model, Paul, with a between builds, uh, this model's going to be done. And because uh, I finished my Gamerka Curve 3, and uh, Greg's still doing this because he's doing a lot of extra webbing, and I really am going to have to try some of that uh, later. But anyway, so I thought I'd uh, have a little kit bash in between to, to keep me at the bench a little bit. And it's, this is the Tamiya kit, which is number 61087. Uh, I turn this in 148 scale. It's the ME262, which is, to be honest, one of the sleekest uh, looking planes that come out of World War II. I love the one of my favourites is the Focke 190. Both the the actual um, original one, uh, the A right through the A's, right up to then the, the D long nose version. And another one of mine favourites, which I've got a kit to do at some point, is the Focke 190. Uh, Fort Wolf actually TA152 so I've got that to build at some point and the, which is high, high altitude fighter so this is the one I'm going and I'm just going to show you I'm not going to do a, a breakdown of the parts I'm just going to show you them in the box just to show that I haven't started it and also the fact is this kit has been around a long time and I, if, if you if you go online you tap it in the box review you'll most probably see one so this is just to show that I haven't actually started it there you go and the only thing I did do is cut off the top of this to see whether this was all okay and to see if it had seat belts and course it has which is bonus because I, I don't like having I was on it to get that one so that is a pretty good this one and this is for this kit as well so that's okay um, there's the instructions not bad at all these ones straightforward things as a whistle and I'll obviously start one and that's mainly the cockpit build up which I'm going to be doing there so there you go so i should show you that i must mostly photograph each bit i do when i'm building it so it could get it so there'll be photographs in the video build this is a one in one scale of the model in 48 scale so it's actually in the right scale so you get a good idea of the actual um basically look at the camouflage and how it's done as i said i'm gonna i don't know if it's got one one on each side i can't remember no it hasn't. so you just see one basic one one basic one there and then you work from it but uh, there you go this one's got the rockets on as well uh, which is what I'll be using for Hans Barsword which is number 13 he actually flew another one of these but uh, uh, 262s with a great big wing cannon out the front and that was a test one and he actually flew that and he had a, a bit of success with it but obviously it was a bit a bit ungainly I should think for any unexperienced pilots so there you go so that's it and as you can see everything you can see is actually in packets um, you've got the closed gun bay there and you've got the open one down there and there's a closed one. Ah, that's the closed, that's the actual gun, where the guns are. This is where they protrude out of the, 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 the actual uh, nose. So, so I'll be having using the closed one and not that one because I like the sleek lines of this particular thing. And um, then you've got the actual weapons included. There's this that goes in a bits and pieces here you can see. And that's okay. And then you've got the wings. I think man, it's quite a, a big aircraft for, it's, for a 48 scale but it's really nice. And the wheel, you can actually get um, resin ones for these, and I might have never set in uh, in my shed in my old box out right there. I'll have a look if I have, I'll be using the resin ones, but if not, I'll be using these. The detail one is really good anyway, so there you go. And then you've got the fuselages, the two halves, I should say, and there you go. You can see the moulding is really good, it's nice and clean. There's the instrument panel, and that's behind the pilot's head, that goes up behind the old canopy in the back here somewhere. And then you've got the decals, and there they are. I won't take them out of the packing so I don't want to use them. But number 13 would be the one I'm using. That was Hans Bar. He actually got a decal for the, for the actual um, um, seat harnesses, but I'm not going to use that. Number 13. He was a, a, a top scoring ace. He got 220 victories, if I remember rightly, and six of them, 16 of them, was where he actually scored in the 262 jet. So. So he was an accomplished pilot, and uh, yep, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to start basically in a couple of minutes' time with this one. And I thought I'd just do a little intro for my video, and I haven't put any special lights in here. And I'm hoping that uh, it seems the, the actual picture looks quite reasonable on the screen, but it's like anything else—you can't tell if you actually upload it. So there you go. That's it, I'm going to upload it to see if it looks alright on the screen and if it does then I shall start building my build now. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the first update and uh, happy modelling and stay safe.